Welcome to the spoken tutorial on additional features of marble. In this tutorial, we will learn about elevation profile, GPS information, day and night concept, online services, atmosphere and clouds. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, Marble version 1.12.20, and a working internet connection. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, Marble version 2.2.20. To practice this tutorial, learners should be familiar with the Marble interface. For the prerequisite Marble tutorials, please visit this site. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. I have downloaded and saved the files to my desktop. I have opened the marble interface in the open street map view. I will select flat view option from the map view panel. Let us go to the view menu and click on it. Select info boxes and from the sub menu, click on the elevation profile option. A box with a message appears. Create a route or load a track from the file to view its elevation profile. Elevation profile shows the altitude of a route. It helps to analyze the height of the hills and landforms. I will place the box at a convenient location. I have created a route and its track from Mumbai to Vadodara on the map. Route-2.kml file is given in the code files link of this tutorial. To open the file, right click on it and select the option Open with Marble. I have opened my route in the open street map flat view. Place the mouse cursor inside the rectangular box. Hover the mouse inside the box. We can see the altitude of different places appearing on the route. Let us hide this elevation profile box. Right click on the box. From the context menu, select hide option to hide it. Let us learn about the GPS information available in Marble. Let us open the track of the existing route. Go to the location panel. Click on the drop down button below position tracking. Select current route option. Go to the view menu and select info boxes. From the sub menu, select GPS info option. A box with GPS information appears on the left side of the interface. Notice the change in speed and direction. Now let us hide this box. Right click on the box, select hide option from the context menu. Now we will disable the position tracking and close the route map. As an assignment, explore the following options. Redisplay, speedometer and routing. Now we will learn about the concept of day and night. Let us zoom out to see the default view. Go to the map view panel and select globe view. Go to the view menu and select sun control option. Sun control dialog box opens. I will place this dialog box to the left side of the interface. Check the sun shading checkbox. Select the shadow radio button if not already selected. Click on the apply button. Rotate and observe that globe turns into a day-night mode. Under subsolar point, check display subsolar point icon checkbox. Click on the apply button. Click on the OK button in the box. Subsolar point is displayed on the globe. Notice that portion facing the sun experiences day. The other half away from the sun experiences night. In the dark portion, we can see the moon. At any moment, half of the world is in daytime and half is in nighttime. 
Now let us remove this subsolar point from the globe. Go to the view menu and select Sun Control option. In the Sun Control dialog box, uncheck the Sun Shading checkbox. Then uncheck Display Subsolar Point icon checkbox. Click on the Apply button. Click on the OK button in the box. The subsolar point is not visible on the globe. As an assignment, explore more about subsolar point. Go back to the Atlas view. Again go to the view menu and click on Online Services option. These plugins display georeferenced Wikipedia articles as icons on the map. In this version of Marble, only Photos and Satellites plugins are enabled. Click on the Photos plugin. Notice that different photos appear on the globe. Let us rotate the globe to see the various photos across the globe. Let us zoom in and locate India on the globe. When we zoom in, more photos appear. I will click on one of the photos. It opens with a Flickr photo sharing site. Flickr is a popular image and video hosting service used by photographers. The photo which I have selected is of Victoria Terminus. We can see the name of the person who had shared this photo. Let us close this Flickr site. The photos on the map were shared by people who had visited the place. Let us zoom out and go back to the default view. I will disable the Photos plugin. Go to the View menu and select Online Services option. Then click on Photos plugin to hide the photos from the map. Go to the Map View panel and select Satellite View. Satellite View is seen. Then go to the View menu and click on Atmosphere. We can see that a white layer has formed around the Earth. It shows the diffused reflection of the atmosphere around the Earth. Go to the View menu and select Clouds option. We can see that the clouds have appeared on the globe. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about Elevation Profile, GPS Information, Day and Night Concept, Online Services, Atmosphere and Clouds. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Viji Nair and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.